Hello. Hey, everybody. We're going to start the movie and do some commentary while we eat a late lunch. Ready? I am. Let's do it. A little quiet. That's good. That's right. pretty. That's pretty. My sister made that castle um, way before we even thought. Yeah. Oh, it's pressurized. <laughs> See the steam coming out of that? That's good. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I don't like talking during movies. <laughs> so so like, this is gonna be like new for you. Yes, I don't do that very often. Uh, what are we talking about? That's you having trouble there? I can open this. Ow! Let me open this. I like it. That's uh, we, who, what are we talking about? The room or Andy or or what? Uh, we got most of those toys from me. I had them all. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh. Yeah, Barbie's Bo Peep. I already. Yeah, it's just. Sorry if, if if Bo Peep is your favorite character and you hate that she's a Barbie. We did the best with what we could. Um. Also, I could say that it doesn't match up perfectly here because uh, the soundtrack music isn't exactly the same. It's like a little bit faster or slower. The You've Got a Friend of Me is like way slower on the soundtrack than it is. So so it's not gonna match up perfectly right there, but you know, the shots are, so. There's uh That's a friend of ours little daughter. She went to church with us. Abigail Peters. Mm -hmm. We can say names. That's oh, fine. Yeah we can. She was like probably almost was she like a year old? Probably a year old there, so almost I think. Um and Andy is a friend of mine from our old church. Um, T.J. Bright, he was excited to be in a movie. He wanted to do a Star Wars movie, so I did eventually. Actually, I did Star Wars with him before we even did this. So I'm swallowing. Uh, yeah, talking with your mouth full is fine for this, right? Uh, and uh, I should mention, we're in the, the kitchen of my dorm at NAU. Aspen Hall, in case it's like gonna be famous someday, we yeah. can come and be in the kitchen. This is a different house now. All of a sudden, this whole sequence, we're at a, another friend's There's house. One right there, that's the Smith's house, and then, and then he runs over here, and that's the now that's a third house. house. That's uh, more friends from church. Yeah, the Ramirez. We can say people's names. It's, I'm sorry, you know, I, I know. Not that anyone knows. They'll watch it. The Ramirez will watch this. Probably the only people who are gonna watch this are friends, anyways. So. <laughs> This usually gets a big laugh because that's not possible in real life. So. Yeah. <laughs> got the a lot of stuff in this match. Although we were waiting a long time to do that scene because we wanted to get it closer than than we could. And the downstairs set like there's a lot of different locate. There's well, I shouldn't say that because there really isn't a lot of different locations in this movie. There's really Andy's house, Sid's house, Pizza Planet. And then like outside, so that's what, kind of what made it easy. Now we're back at Jonathan's. Yeah, Molly. <laughs> There's a lot of goofy little edits, and yeah. that, that was the first of many. So <laughs> just ignore them. Um, and we really, you know, as you can see, this was like a really old scene that we shot, and. I'm holding Woody with my with a sock in my hand, and you know later on, as we you know over the years, we we improved on the way you know to, to move the toys around. You know, a year from then, we would we would have never done like you know uh, a sock you know on your hand. Also, stop motion, as you see, we implemented a lot of stop motion to get the this, tricky shots. Yeah, Any shot that was like more than like five or ten characters moving, it was like stop motion. Yeah. Or have a ton of people help at once. Yeah. Right? There's a couple of those. This was one of the first scenes I edited. I should say I should say I edited most of the movie, but there's a scene that Jesse edited, and we'll get to that. Yeah. Later. That's later. More stop motion. And RC runs over uh, <laughs> over the car that goes around the loop. That's didn't happen on purpose. But that right there is one of my favorite looking shots. The fire truck going by, it, it, it matches the movie, and that one shot. I like so much. Just Woody hopping off the bed. Um, I don't know. I was gonna say something. Sl Slinky's my favorite character. The snake yeah. changes colors. Some people notice that. Yeah. Um, uh, that's because simply we didn't have a green snake until we already shot those scenes, and we never redid them all we could have. 
That's not on an actual Etch a Sketch. Some we, people, a lot of people noticed that. I actually. know. We just stuck paper on it and slowly drew it on there. Um, just because it didn't show up on the Etch a There's Green Snake. Yeah, he changed the <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to point out all the errors, but your little tiny knuckles there always bugs me. Yeah. If we were going to point out all the errors, we that It would ruin it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not the point of the commentary. <laughs> And, uh, the crib, the whole room changes a lot because, like, from some angles, the crib looks better that way, and some angles it looks better that way. We just did whatever works for that one shot. Yeah. So things had to be moved around to fit the movie, and so there's some parts where it just doesn't make sense in our version. Like, things get moved around a lot. Jonathan made those, um... You don't like them, do you? No, they were good. They're just Easter If eggs. I would have known that some fan would have made perfect replicas of them. Which someone did, but that was... Someone did. Later, wasn't it? It was or, later, yeah. No, it was also very expensive, so I'm Oh, yeah. Mind. It was like 70-something dollars. But they're really nice looking. Mr. Mike was actually one of the most expensive, because he's really rare. Um, so I got I got Mr. Mike from, uh, from eBay. And he's not even an actual tape recorder. He's a different version that doesn't play tapes. Robot is tiny. And uh, Mr. Spell is gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> you can talk about him later. Uh, so we always had, you know, robot. He's from McDonald's. So yeah. He's like this big. And like, you always had to hold him right up to the camera to make him look bigger than he was. Which was fine. But some scenes you can clearly see, like, he's tiny. And the thing with Mr. Spell is, like, he just blocks everything behind him. I bought Mr. Spell. I thought he looked cool. The first day he showed me, oh, here's what I got from Mr. Spell. I was like, really? That, I don't like it. And uh, uh, I got him because because he was he was the only one that I found. That I got him at Goodwill. He was the only one that was that was yellow and blue and had all the letters in ABC order. And I don't know. Is it even supposed to be an ABC order? It's not. I don't know. I don't know. I basically ended up hating him at the end of. Yeah, it filming. is supposed to be an ABC order. Yeah, you. Uh, Maybe Kim will want to talk about that when she gets here. Uh, and I made the the um, the toy box. It's just a plastic bin because I couldn't afford it. I was going to get a wooden one, but it's just too expensive uh, for my mom. And I drew that uh, the wheels on there. I was doing something else. I think my mom did most of it. This is one of my favorite shots. Like that one and that one. And then this one. And then it like spins down. It just mm -hmm. worked out so cool. It did. Yeah, that's that was a cut right there, and it really it looks good. Uh, there's a few things that could yeah. be better. And that's me. Jesse's that's first me. cameo. That's my first cameo. I'm in, I'm in here more than once, but that was my first. Me too. Hey, and there's Sid. <laughs> that kid right there is Sid. Later on, you can't even tell, but that was before we knew that was gonna be Sid. So yeah, we didn't <laughs> cast Sid. Actually, so Sid apparently went to his birth Andy's birthday party. Yeah, well, he changed his clothes too. Uh, that was Jason too. We wanted a black kid instead of like, it was like, do we do it with one of these kids? Or do we find a black kid? I don't know. He, yeah, we decided we would. Yeah. He was Worked happy out. It. I don't even know if he's seen it yet. Has he seen the movie? Did he come? I don't think they the made Alpers, it to the... Yeah, they didn't go to the premiere yet. That worked out good. I was thinking that would take forever for him to jump up, but he got it. Um, and, uh... Lots of stop motion now. Yeah. With Army Man. The... Uh, there's so much I want to talk about, but I, I can't think of which one to do first. Um, okay, so right here, oh, that's still your house. Yeah. We're about to go to the Wahlberg's house, more friends of ours, in just a second here. Oh, I was going to talk about casting of Sid. He, uh, like, we, I didn't, I wasn't that's thinking of casting him. I wasn't thinking of casting him because he was younger than Andy, his, which is his brother, his Older brother. And he was younger than our Hannah. Right, that too. Hannah was bigger, taller than he than our Sid. But he was. looks a lot like Sid, so yeah. that's he got the part. And uh, he did good. I, I liked how it turned out. Some of us, I did that by myself. Yeah. Jesse's idea to That was my him. idea to loop them, to, to stick them in the jump rope. We were trying to think, like, how do we get them to slide down? And I thought of a good idea. And for, I, once. <laughs> for once. For <laughs> once. Um, just let me have something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, oh, and my mom is mama. Uh, it worked out good because she was always there. We didn't have to schedule her. <laughs> and 
She actually, did she kill she Iron did. Man? She did, but it wasn't that one. That was, she killed one of them, his head broke off. I, I didn't put that in the bloopers. I'll find it some other way to put it up. So unfortunately, some toys were hurt in the making of this. Yeah, well, we'll move the on. Mutants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is my house, and, uh... I was here for none of that. Yeah. I don't know why. Were you working, or were you just not... I was working, working probably, at... You were working during the... I know which scene you were definitely working at. I'll tell you later. The piano place. I made the ball? Yeah. That was before... Pixar actually came out with the... the mm -hmm. Official ball. Right here, I made the music. While this shot went, when they're in here, um, I made that music because it wasn't on the. It wasn't on. The it soundtrack. wasn't included in the soundtrack. And I made all the. Uh, now the that's sound back. Effects. That's back I to did, the. I was a foley artist. Yeah. yeah. And now it's original. Music. I also made some other music later on. And um, the room is is a downstairs guest room in my house. Um, and then it ended up being my room, and then it ended up. I don't know. I kind of. I, my dad was mentioned something about he wanted to put in hardwood floor, and so I said, well, I'd like to help you put it in. Can we film in there? <laughs> so we put in hardwood floor. You can probably see some pictures of Johnson's oh, family. That's my, that's my dad's silhouette when he was a kid. Right? I think he did tell me that. Yeah. I colored some of those drawings. Some of them were on Pixar Planet, the website. Um, yeah, most of the posters um, fans made, they recreated them, and we found them on Pixar Planet, which if, you, if you're if you a fan of Pixar, you would like Pixar Planet. It's just a nice forum for fans of Pixar. And the baby monitors were donated by the, the Peters, the people who, the family of Molly. Yeah, Molly's family. We don't know a whole lot. That's of back at the kids. Ramirez. Oh, and there's Manny, my little brother's cameo, jumping and getting in the way. He's good at that. Um, and baby monitor changes. This is the scene where you weren't there. His mustache falls off. Do you see it? You never see his mustache fall off. I, was, I thought it was there for. I was there for this. I was with the ham. Yeah, yeah, you were there for that, but you weren't there for when they like spun it around. Manny, oh, Manny was yeah. doing ham, I think. And we're switching houses left and right, and. It's just whatever worked for the shot. Yeah. Yeah, we go for that. There's a long stop motion scene that took a... Yeah. It's fun to watch all the little characters, and we try to get them all the to, eggs. to match exactly. <laughs> I never watched the egg in the back. It's like <laughs> jumping on his face. Uh, the bright kids, this, that family, they got so many kids. Maybe we'll call them later. Uh, there's a lot of kids here. Yeah. None of them I really knew. Yeah. Well, they I were did. all your friends. I did. More kid friends than you, I think. <laughs> I don't know, but we don't, yeah, we don't know a whole lot of kids, except for from church, or from my old church in that case. So, uh, oh, that's my foot! I, that was my cameo, I was the kid that's... Here's an example of how thing. our room was not like the room in the movie. That, that cut right there, it was the only way to really make it possible. Because the way that room was designed, you can't just pan over from the entrance to the closet. So we had to do stuff like that. The more I thought of it, though, the more I wanted to just, like, slide over. This was the very first, well no, it was like the second or third thing we did. Which is why it's hideous. Yeah, a very obvious sock hand. Hand I is tiny. don't it's understand why ham. we couldn't just use string like we did it's in the a, future. It's a different hand. Uh, ham, I mean. And we didn't get some of these angles right just because like, well, how do we get him to stand? Well, we gotta show, we gotta hold on to him. I don't know. Ham is tiny. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I don't really like that scene because it's bad, but we had to do it, and we did it early on, so I, I forgive myself. We're in the background. That's Mr. Harriman. I mean, I, what's the best shot of him you see? There's a poster above Molly's crib in the movie of a little it's rabbit. He's there. That he was there of a rabbit in a top, like in a top hat with fancy clothes. He's in the movie because before we started filming this, I had to search. You did, because you like making lists, I don't. I like making lists. I made a list of every single thing you see in the background, and there was a rabbit with fancy clothes, and so I thought of Mr. Harriman from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, and I printed out a picture of him and put him in a frame, and he's in there. It's hard to see him. This is the first day of filming. Which is why it's kind of awkward, too. Yeah. Like it zoomed in weird, but hey, whatever. 
And this uh, was all the first day of filming. That right there, that hand was another Buzz Toys hand. Because he can't reach. He yeah. Can't reach past his chest. Yeah. But eventually we got to Buzz's um, so that so he could have the right kind of hand. And, and so that I could take the arm off. Because that, that's the collection version. And we'll talk yeah, about we had to work little. around like stuff that like like the real toys couldn't do that the toys in the movie can. Like Woody's pull string is just so short in real life. So there's some features of the toys that are not like the movie really. Um, what else is there to talk about here? There's some funny bloopers here just because the little kids were playing in the room while we were filming, and. uh... That is, I think there's like Bo Peep. Oh, yeah, she, she's not there. She's supposed to be there, but she's not there because we only had the tiny one. And then eventually we decided we have to get a full size Bo Peep. And then we ended up getting the, the Barbie instead because Bo Peep's rare. She's hard to find. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, I found a, found a Barbie in my sister's room that was close enough. And uh, she got the part. But. I don't know. We used it. We used a tiny McDonald's toy Bo Peep for a while, um, but you know, it works. It's okay. This I like doing this. I was so happy that they made this box and they made it right. I got Buzz for Christmas and Woody. I bought when I saw him on sale. He's the collection version, so. No, nope, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's gonna know any of this stuff. Like I, I know so many little things about it that no, no. I refilmed this because the first time we did it, we had the tiny bow peep. So we had to. We held her up really yeah. close, and she was. It was weird. So, so I refilmed it. Although it's not very good, but I mean, it was kind of out of focus, and I got my little sister, who was three or four, to, to hold bow peep up there, and like just so that she's a little bit alive. No one wanted to help. This me. shot, I'm almost tired of seeing this. Mm. This was the sneak. <laughs> we used so this for our, our sneak peek when we put when we first showed a sneak peek on YouTube. We used this scene and. I can't believe how many times I've watched this whole yeah. sequence. Well, because, I mean, it's in the trailer, it's in the sneak Yeah, game. we just used it so many times. <laughs> I'm really tired of watching this. Episode. <laughs> but, uh, but it's what got attention. We got on, well, we were on Mean yep. Base. And what was it? The Cheeseburger website. We got, there was a lot yeah. of publicity from releasing the... Uh, Once Reddit found us, we... Yeah. Well. Then, yeah, then things got crazy. We It was pretty fascinating because it was like... You know, in, in, in just like two hours, time. we were like, within like the first few hours, just one by one, you just kind of start seeing things pop up and like, yeah, and then the next day, it's like all these uh, articles about us, some in other languages. It was crazy. I, yeah, and I made the mistake of, <laughs> of talking about it first, like, because I, I wanted to explain it because I just didn't want to put it up and be like... Well, here it is. I wanted to say thanks for thank you for being a fan already because we had a fa we made a Facebook page for it, and and then people were already in impressed with it. Like Pixar Planet, we posted some pictures and things like that. But, uh, As you can see, we didn't have a whole lot of wallpaper. We had like two rolls, <laughs> so we ran well, out. It was expensive. <laughs> yeah, the budget for this movie was like zero. Yeah. <laughs> but we went over much. <laughs> we went a lot. Believe it or not, this was just such a hard that scene. That was terrible. So, and I'm still there. Even still, it, it didn't turn out that well. It was so awkward because so many toys were had to move forward right past the camera and... There was a bunch of people squished together. Yeah. I'm surprised. I would never think that that scene would be so hard to do. Now here's an example of... Kind of sounds he, awkward. Oh yeah. Oh, I just like his acting. <laughs> I don't even pay attention to the weirdness. I can see since I'm a music guy, I can't help but hear stuff like that. You can just hear the transition from the movie version of the song to the album to the CD version, the soundtrack, and slightly different. I changed it. I I took the one out because you were so irritated. It's right there. But uh, yeah, because it's because I wanted to get the the Andy from the movie. I want to get his voice out and put our Andy's voice in. And like that was the only way I could think of doing it. And I didn't want to put the whole entire soundtrack because then we'd have to remake all the sounds for yeah. the rest of it. So I'm, it's okay. I'm happy with it. I like this scene a lot. And this is cool. 
Yeah, that was backwards. Th that's Jesse's idea. I was behind the, yeah, the uh, the shelf. Just I just threw. That was a real just sketch, by the way. I drew that. Oh yeah, continue. You did. Go on. Yeah, so I I threw the pieces of potato head towards him, and it worked out good. A lot of things we actually ended up doing backwards. It was like, what are we doing? How are we gonna do this? It was yeah. It, it became like it became like a running gag. Seriously, like we'd be trying to think of how to do something, and then we was like, let's do it backwards. And more times than none, it would work out good doing it backwards. This is another example. Backwards. Right there is backwards. That was backwards too. Well, yeah, obvious. Well, I don't know. It might not be obvious for some people. Uh, I really like in this next part that's coming up how we did it just at the right time. Were you there? I don't think you were there. No, Andy was there. I don't think I was there for that. Well, the sun was just at the right spot, so it's dark, but it's still like you can still see light coming out from the outside. Slinky's foot actually kicks like it does in the movie. Well, I always liked that. It didn't. In the movie. But uh, it didn't kick. We didn't kick it because he wasn't there to tell me to do it. <laughs> but. Uh, but I added it later because you like that part so much. I yeah. Same thing you missed about Potato Head's nose itch. Uh, here. Uh, Amy was being the yeah. Shark. Amy yeah. Amy she felt she's helping helped. us here. She's helped a lot. She she probably out of everyone she helped the most. Yeah. And she was there for the love you, Amy. For the yeah. best. Because you know she's gonna watch it. We should call her while we're doing this. That's Jonathan's sister, Emily. She's doing Bo Peep there. Sitting on the desk. Yeah. It's just funny to think about where everyone, like, I'm, like, standing there leaning over. Yep. And here I come walking by, potato head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was potato head, I think. You were... You really? Were, I thought I was... You're usually Woody, and I'm usually Buzz, although there's yeah, a lot... Yeah, whenever there was a Woody Buzz, yeah. Right there, I I was Woody there, yeah. You, what are you saying, was Woody? You were, you're doing the puppets for Woody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not actually you. <laughs> on that skateboard later on becomes Roller Bob. That's Kira's skateboard. Wow, I like forgot about that. <laughs> I like this scene because it's so colorful. Like it, the color really looks good whenever like that there. Yeah. And, uh, I like how it turned out. More stop motion. Yeah, it's not the best stop motion, but it, <laughs> it looks like it's funny anyways. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't go into detail with the stop motion. We didn't want to spend forever. Yeah, we're just not good enough. Yeah, we're not experts. Not good enough. Oh, we should have mentioned that when Buzz had his helmet off right there, that was actually Stunt Buzz. Buzz number two. Buzz number two. Who? We well, because we didn't want to take the helmet off of the collection version, although later on we did. So we went out and bought Buzz and then came back and did, so we could do that scene. Yeah. It was really convenient, like, we wouldn't have been able to do this if they didn't come out with the new toys. Because for years, you couldn't buy Toy Story toys anywhere. Except, like, online. Some of Scud's barks, um, the, whenever Sid is talking and Scud's barking at the same time, since we need our Sid's voice, we also need a dog bark to fit over it, and that was actually my dog barking. Ooh, you could talk about the real Scud. Yeah, and the real Scud, I, I love Scud. Working with Scud was, like, probably my favorite thing. I love dogs, and... Working with Scud was probably my least favorite thing. Yeah. Uh, he was great. Scud was, just, really good. Scud was so much fun. I went on a Craigslist and I made an ad saying, I'm looking for a bull terrier for a movie we're doing. And I explained how we're remaking Toy Story. And within two days or so, I actually got two people to get back to me. One was this Scud so cool. you're seeing. He looks so cool. And then one was a, he was more of a puppy. He was a little too young. So I... <laughs> Right, go on, I know, I know what you're saying. <laughs> so yeah, so I ended up using the, that scud that you see there, and his owners were really cool. His owner's best friend is a dog trainer. She works on other, she works on like commercials, and she did other stuff she with does some movies. Yeah, some movies. So he's such a well-trained dog. It worked out perfectly. Well, I wouldn't say he's a well-trained dog. He he's a he's yeah. he's a pet. He's not. He's a, a pet. He's, he's a crazy. Pet. Yeah, he's crazy, but he can I, he still can do things that my dog can't do. And he got the job done. Someone's calling me. It's Cam. Go ahead and keep talking. Okay. Hello. Oh, that the rubble that hits the window. That was actually we were filming at a friend's house, and we were, needed some help to just throw some rubble up in the air. So there was these two kids just next door. We were just like, hey, you guys want to help us 
throw some rubble up in the air. Okay. That was probably my favorite thing about it was just uh, getting yeah, like cool. random, complete strangers right. to just like help us. I'm gonna let Kim in. Um, you talk about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, what to talk about here? The eight ball, we we just kept on shaking it until it actually <laughs> read what we wanted it to read. Probably took a couple, like fifteen times or so, to get it what it to what it actually needed to say. And yep, we even have tin foil. Rolled up two tinfoil balls. We try to match everything perfectly to the smallest detail. And I think we did a pretty good job. Ooh, she's coming. <laughs> okay. You, why are you out of breath? <laughs> I ran up the stairs. I want to talk about Sid's laugh. He can't laugh. Like, both of the kids didn't want to laugh. He can come. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Johnson was laughing at early, uh, about earlier with, when Sid was laughing. <laughs> It took us a long time to get Sid to laugh the way we wanted him to. Well, Andy too, like he needed to laugh. He's like, I can't laugh. What are you talking about? You're kidding me. Laugh. <laughs> Here, scoot over. You be in the shop. Just for a little. This is Kim. Hi. <laughs> she helped a lot. Second half at least. You didn't even meet her until halfway through. Okay, right here, we had to like <laughs> rearrange the whole room for it to make sense. Because in the room we were using, the desk was not next to the window like it is in the movie. So just for this scene, we had to just rearrange stuff. But you know, you really don't notice it, but it's it's funny because our room was our room was slightly different. You know, it was a lot different. <laughs> yeah, and the basic shape was okay. Um, has there been any Waldos yet? We'll talk about him later. Yeah, we can. There is a Where's Waldo. Um, there's only a couple of him. Whenever we want, we were just like, let's just put Waldo somewhere. Because we found a Waldo's toy. Yeah. There's also a lot of um, little inside jokes just for us. Yeah, we can point that out. Yeah. Yeah, let's point it out whenever we see something like that. Um, what else? Do you have anyone in town? Well, you weren't here for this I wasn't here during this scene, so. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, what, I don't know, I missed, what would you tell him? I, I barely knew what to say, it's just, you know, it's just the eight ball, I was like, oh, it took us a while to get what the eight ball. No, it didn't. I was surprisingly fast. Right. I was really good at, I could tell, like, where it is. It's, it's on okay. that side of the cube, I'm gonna roll over. You didn't even help with the eight ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that hideous shot. I'm glad we were talking over it, so, like, you know, <laughs> Yeah, that was yeah. probably one of the worst stop motion scenes. Anything where the camera has to move at the same yeah, time stop is Stop motion just... camera movement is not pretty for me. Yeah. It's but, just, we know, didn't have... We better. Yeah. And it's not, a, yeah, we didn't have a stop motion program, I just literally yeah. cut short. Well, the, the thing is, like, you know, we just... That was before we got the right van, um... So, it's not the right van. <laughs> but, I didn't think anyone would notice, but, uh, Carl... Garrity noticed when I showed it to him last week. For some reason, this shot of Buzz and the Leaves to me looks the closest like the movie. What? When I look at that, I, it almost looks animated to me. Just that shot. The shot of him with the leaves. I don't know why, but I, I think it's like matches the movie the most as far as just it looks animated a bit. Scoot over, I want you to be in the shot. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay, now I'm almost out, but whatever. I'll just kind of delete it. Turned up a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the movie on here. I could, I could always boost it. That later. did not exist. That. <laughs> I like how it's always turning at the top. That's this obvious. is a Sinclair we went to. We figured you might as well get the this logo. Is the first shot where I helped yes. It was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is. Yeah, Kim helped us with this. Yeah, it was fun to get Andy and Molly and the van at the same time. <laughs> Not the same van, it's a different car. That's the van, this isn't. Anyways, you get the idea. We had to do whatever would work best. Oh, and that is a real dead fly on his face. Real dead fly <laughs> on Buzz. <laughs> we were, yeah, we were just thinking like, you wanna look for a real dead fly? And yeah, sure. So we went inside and checked the window sills and we got one. Put some jam on it. It was strawberry jelly. And strawberry jelly, yeah. And a, and, and a dead fly. 
Might so as well go for we were, we were really committed to just smashing the movie. So <laughs> much. Uh, this is the first time I ever stayed up all night. Long we sa- yeah, sleeping. this was an all nighter um, at our church. We were having a rummage sale, and so we just had tons of stuff outside, and there needed to be someone there to guard. Somebody it. had to guard the stuff, so Stay we figured out. let's guard it and also film the the fight scene at the gas station. Although I was hoping to get a lot more finished, we just got kind of exhausted because well, everything went wrong. Yeah. So this is jump. That was jumping between the parking lot at our church and back to the gas station again. Gas station was Josh. Oh, now this yeah. is Josh was helping us with this. Josh Hulecki. That he did the camera right there, Danny. Yes, he did. I don't know why I didn't do the camera. What was I, I don't. I think I thought you were doing Woody, and I was well, just kind of sitting back, <laughs> and enjoying the show. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Drinking. That, that took a while too. Um, like we didn't know how we were gonna. Yeah, get we actually. Shot. Yeah. And so we're like, well, let's just. Bring a twenty foot ladder and set it up. In yeah. The so I, so I was worried like the police were gonna come after me. This was my really... favorite thing to do with the whole movie. You missed it. This night was so much fun. We were at a, we were at the Sinclair filming the shots, waiting at Sinclair, waiting around. Maybe a gas truck would come, and we saw a gas truck on at a gas station on the other side of the street. So we're like, "There's a gas truck. Let's go." We just ran over there, and uh, what was his name? Barry. Barry. No, was it Barry? Barry the truck yeah, driver. Yeah, yeah, Barry. I type the credits, I know what yeah. his name. So Barry the truck driver gets out, nice big guy, and we're like, you think he ever seen Toy Story in his life? So we, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just Everybody. went up to him and we're like, hey, we're doing this, we're making Toy Story, and can you just drive over? We didn't say like that. I know, I'm paraphrasing. But, uh, but he, he was happy to do it for us, and... That was another example of, how do we do this? How do we get so close to what he's This shot... Backwards. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. That moon shot, okay? It drove me crazy. It drove us crazy. We just wanted the moon to be in the exact stage as it is so in the movie. Holy thing, it was, I remember I was doing it and I was like shaking. So <laughs> when we watched the premiere, I saw it shaking. I was like, oh, that's so me. <laughs> but yeah, that moon, the first time the moon was in the right stage, we were getting ready to film and I think we were... We were at Amy's house. We were, yeah. And I thought the first time was your house, but whatever. Well, there was anyway, the, the first time we tried to do it and it just got... The moon just got covered up. It was getting stormy, and the moon was gone. And, and then, and then the second time, the moon got covered up again. Pizza Planet truck. I know. There's not enough time to talk. About I know. It's like every single few seconds, there's something new there's I want to talk about. But yeah, well, it's just fine. Uh, yeah. The Pizza Planet truck. That was all. <laughs> your fault. <laughs> say, that, say that right now. Uh, it, it does not look like the Pizza Planet truck. Not and, exactly. No. But um, not even close. No. I was so unhappy. I told you that before. We, <laughs> yeah, we we used to see this pizza plant truck. It looked just like the one in the movie. Every once in a while, we would see it drive by, and it uh, it was a Papa John's truck. It was that was kind of funny. That it was already a pizza truck. And I we would see it every once in a while. I saw it. I knew it exists. And uh, for the longest time, we couldn't find it. We were just we wanted to see it. We went around to all the different Papa Johns, saying, "Does anyone ha- drive an old Toyota?" And we couldn't find it. And then finally, one day, I was driving home from a day of filming, I think. And I saw that truck, like, driving by. I was like, there it is! And he called me, and he's like, I'm chasing it. There's my cameo. There's Jonathan. Yeah. We're chasing the, I'm I chasing was like, the truck. I'm like, yeah, I'm on his tail. I'm chasing the, I, I found the Pizza Planet truck. And I was really excited because we really needed it. Right there is it. actually a second Pizza Planet truck that we Which found is later. Which not unusual because it didn't fit. Yeah. So we had one truck for the. Oh, this truck was for the, all the interior shots. This was way later we found this truck. Because the. Yeah. That truck. was the last one. That truck didn't have the right inside. It was wrong. So we couldn't even film the interior. That was really fun to film though. Yeah. Anyway, so I ended up that uh, the truck I found, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, it wasn't the, one, the one you. It was not the one we saw before. It wasn't the one we saw. It wasn't as good. And you it was to talk about how I drew Pizza Planet. I painted that. <laughs> yeah, that's Come artwork on. from John. Yes, it's beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> Did you guys ever get in trouble for driving up that far? No, no we, we, that was that was a Ross parking lot, and we just they were closing, so we knocked on the door. Like, uh, can we pull this truck like right up to your window? And they said yes. The the girl that was working there is like, I guess so. And, and then, but then everyone else was leaving, and then like kind of standing around like, what's happening? That was the last shot ever filmed. Woody, in it. Second, second. Hey, there's me. Yes. Second and there's me. That's my second cameo. Second to last. Um, so like, that shot is pretty fancy. I mean, it's like. 
Okay, Pizza Planet. Oh, we got something. Pizza Planet was like my favorite day of filming. Now, it, it was more than one day. That first shot right there was an arcade in- This is, this my, I come back. The first shot was, a, was an arcade in Oregon. Jonathan went to a trip in Oregon and he filmed at an arcade. This is Amazing Jake's. And we got random strangers to do that. Yeah, that mom and her kids. More random people to this help. This is another one of my favorite shots. It's so colorful. This day, right random here. Kids. This day at Amazing Jake's was probably and my friend favorite. Hope. Now that's, that's, uh, oh, that that's no, Peter Piper that's Pizza. Definitely. It switches that's from Heath. Me. That's another one of the Bright's kids. I'm trying to call. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just sorry to say that. Uh, Peter, uh, Pizza Amazing Planet. Jake's. Yeah. That's Peter Piper Pizza. That's, that's Amazing cool. Jake's. It switched. Yeah. And there's Emily again. I think that's Emily. That's there's that's my third cameo. That was my legs playing the game. Your legs. Your legs. Ooh. Yeah. There's my legs. <laughs> Digital legs, even better. That's a miniature. Obviously. <laughs> I, I. Yeah. Me like, again. Are we gonna do that? I that was like three yeah. Uh, we had to. I was. I almost bought. Did you know this? I almost bought a claw machine. It was a hundred. That's right. It was hundred and fifty bucks, and it was like. But then I realized, what am I going to do with it after we yeah. film? <laughs> so I bought some uh, poster board instead. <laughs> yeah, so we made it. It doesn't look as cool as if it was a real one, but it worked. And it turned out pretty cool. That was me twice in a row at the same time. <laughs> do I get extra points for that? No one wanted to help me. I was like, Are we keeping score of how many times we're in it? <laughs> no, I don't know. You should. Uh, <laughs> Then that was that was four. Well, if you count the second time, it cuts back to me. Then. No, you no. can't do. No, then you're in the same place. Fine, and we did that in one shot anyway. So yeah, and I built the claw, and I built the claw. Yeah, I like I like how it turned out with the aliens. It, it looks. This is also an nice. That was a fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we knew we had to get Sid to jump on the. Well, on a whack-a-mole game. There's we, no other way. We to just do had it. to do it. Do it. So what did we do? We just uh, waited till nobody was looking and. And had them do it, and we had to do it like four or five times. And that's in the bloopers. You can watch yeah, it. it was fun. Bending the rules, doing things you're probably not allowed to do. It's well, no one said there's no rules. I know. Says yeah. You're not allowed to jump. It's off. not wrong until someone says yeah. stop. Plus, you know? I love how the, my favorite thing, one of my favorite things, is just the music, the scary Sid music, and then you see our Sid. And he's just he's not as scary at all as a real kid. <laughs> yeah. So it's just so funny. I like this part when it goes like flying out. <laughs> Yeah, that's our cardboard version of the, the what is it supposed to be? Plastic or something? Yes. Yeah. Probably metal. Metal, uh, whatever. We gotta use tiny, because we have tiny aliens and then we have the full-size yeah. aliens. Yeah, those aliens were just like a couple inches like... They can't see. Yeah. You go down there, you gotta go here. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. But uh, I gotta go. Where are you going? I have to go do an interview. Okay. Good luck with your interview. Spanish, so. Oh, yeah. I think I saw people doing that in the video. See you later. Thanks for stopping. Bye. Bye. This we filmed like way later. This was like one of the last stuff. Our and Sid couldn't really he, skateboard. But well, he, he, he tried. He did okay. He did just about as good as I could. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't saying much, but uh, yeah. There's. There's a lot of little things okay, here so to talk about. Who, who's she was finally, that's uh, are we going to? Crystal's house. This is... Uh, that's the Bright's house. Bright's house. But outside is Crystal's house. Anyways, uh, she was nice enough to let us film just a random stranger. We went and drove around for hours, knocking on people's door, saying, your house looks kind of like this. Can we film? Eventually, if it, I think she was one of the first, but not a lot of houses look like Sid's house. So. That one was close. I liked the way it turned out. Delaney! Delaney Kent, uh, she's a born actress, I think. <laughs> I mean, she's gonna, I know she's gonna go far in, in her acting career. If she wants to. Anyway, uh, her wardrobe was actually made by her mom, uh, Carrie Kent. This is the only costume not made by me, I did the rest. Yeah. She made, yeah, shirts for, for Hannah. I wanna talk about this too. I know, <laughs> Sid's Okay, alright, so this was deleted. All of this was deleted. We had to do it over again the second, like, almost... Almost a year later. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was super fun. Yep, we lost this first little piece. <laughs> Fake clock. Oh, this whole is a different room. That's actually Andy's room. Oh, yeah. That's right. my room. That's the real one. Anyways, it, it switches so much. The 
the, Waldo's here. Waldo. Isn't he in the <laughs> cage? Yeah, eventually. He's, we do. In, he's in the jar. Um, but that's not what I was going to talk about. <laughs> It, it got deleted. Everything from the entire summer got deleted. So that's Pizza Planet and Sid's Room. All of Sid's Room. Waldo. And uh, I made that too. Heads in the lamp. Um, <laughs> so much stuff to talk about. I know. This room is just filled with, with stuff. things. Anyways, it got all deleted. We got uh, A.D. Ramirez. Shout out to you, because you're going to watch this, right? Um, he uh, is our computer wizard. And he got... He got... Almost all of it back. I thought it was all of it. This shadow going by. <laughs> that is the silhouette of a. Well, I don't even know what he is. It's, he's from Star Wars. He's a creature fish. That it was like an inside joke with me and my friend Mikey. Also a bright kid. But he's not really a bright kid. He's a lazy kid. Anyways, long story. He's uh, the brother of Andy and Sid. We made movies together before, and that's an inside joke. Let's introduce our mutants. Now, that one is, of course, the official one that was made. You, they sold him at the Disney store. And it was 50 bucks, and this was way before we thought about filming. Legs was made by my brother. Michael Parada made legs. She turned out really cool. Did you make hands? Yes. Okay, but, but I, I sorry, I just, about, I just can't. I want to talk about Babyface. I, uh, it was before we thought about making the movie. I got him for $10. That's all. 10 That's all I want to say. Okay. Great deal. Highly recommend you. Who was helping us that day? My friend Jennifer. Jennifer, okay. Uh, she came to help for a day. That was nice because we needed help in that. It was, yeah. It was during the. It was during when most people were back to school, but I wasn't yet, and so it was just us two. So whoever we could find to help was a great Mayday. deal of help. Mayday. Come in, Star Anything you want to say about this? Um, about the I was just kind of talking about the, you know just the frog. Frog was made by Michael. You made Ducky. You made uh, Roller Bob and Jingle Joe. Michael, he, he wanted to make all of them, but then he's just like, I can't get it close enough. And I'm like, well, I'll get it close enough because I know what close enough is. He went into every little detail. I just went with, it's these two toys, let's put them together. So. And there's my mom, and Molly is there because she had to be, even if, even if you don't really see her, she's supposed to be there, so someone's going to notice. I like how when they left, they had a different, <laughs> they had a different, they had a different vehicle. <laughs> they came back now, now they have the, now they have the right van. Yeah. She stopped and she bought the she right van. Yeah. They, they, she left them a pizza planet. Yeah. <laughs> so from here on out, it's the real van. This next shot, I really liked how it turned it out, turned it out. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I finally found two houses next to each other that looked right. And I knocked on Sid's house door and uh, and asked him if I could film the house. If any of you guys are movie makers and you know you don't be afraid to ask complete strangers. It turned it worked out so well for us. People are nice. If you if you're nice, they're nice. Too. They, yeah, they'll be nice and they'll. Let also, you. this is one of my favorite scenes because we got uh, Sid just looks so cool. <laughs> and we actually burned his head. It was an accident, but it happened. Yeah. Um, that's, that's his mom. That's Sabrina Bright. Sid's actual mom. She fit the part so great. It was awesome. She has a couple more lines later too. Uh, this was one of the last things. We were just trying so hard to finish Sid's room as fast as we We were could. trying to do Sid's room in a week, right? We were trying to finish. Like we, we had been doing it for a month and it's like we have to finish yeah. this week. So we gave her it's like a deadline. Like that's it. We gotta be done this week. He had to go to he had to leave for college in a, in a bit. And so you just stayed at our house for a week. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's right. I was there that week just to finish. I like the way this turned out. Amy was here helping us with this too. She yep. was helping almost the whole movie, so I don't know why I said that. I know. There's some scenes though I just remember her. Yeah, really she had, a, she had a, a lot of work on this one. Um, and I like how Woody like is flailing around in that scene. It just looks so cool. This oh, and, and Michael made a... What is his name? The bug guy. Yeah, Rock Rockmobile. Rockmobile. I edited this whole part here. I know, that took forever to get Sid's stairway and his upstairs and his downstairs. Yeah. We wanted to find one that was that The stairs, the stairs were just insane. Just getting the right... I want to say something, I flipped that upside down. That wasn't in the, uh, in the regular version. And then there's another shot, like there were a few things that didn't match up that I only realized later on after we had our premiere, so I fixed it. Um, but if we ever, if I ever get it, my dream car is Pizza Planet truck. If I ever get it and I get it to look better, I'm okay with refilming. Although, <laughs> not for this, not for this. That's for whenever they're going to release it on DVD, right? Yes. Okay. 
You don't talk about editing. Were these pulls? Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, what? that's my editing. This guy was really cool. He got yeah. like, they're like, how'd you get him to lay down? Well, they were sitting right next to him. <laughs> but he looks, it's just so cool when it works out right. And this is the Bright's hallway. And then, <laughs> did I ever tell you what, uh, when, when they, they were on vacation, but they said we can use their house anyways? They're back, good with friends. And, uh, and when they came back, they're like, what's all this, uh, like, stuff stuck to the floor and ceiling and stuff? <laughs> Do they have a party or something? I was like, oh, yeah. They were over filming. Yeah. There's A.D. Ramirez's cameo. That deer head up there was, uh, Kim. Kim's dad let us use her deer head. We cut out a bunch of ducks and just taped them everywhere. That's a little inside joke. The, the channel... 27! The channel on the TV is 27, which is a... Reference to The Simpsons, and uh, which I'm not really a big fan of, but you are. So. Yeah, I'm a I'm a Simpsons fan. Anyway, so it's just an inside joke. Anytime you see the number 27, we just have to say 27. So it's probably my. You can look it up. The funniest <laughs> number. Yeah, if you haven't seen the clip, look up look up 27 Simpsons. Oh, and I could say I didn't uh, I didn't make that. That's the only thing we did not make is um, because I made it a long time ago, and uh, and it wasn't the real Buzz. Like it was the older version of Buzz 95. Yeah. And um, and so other people did it better later on. So I just found the best one on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of Toy Story stuff on YouTube now. So I found the best one, and I emailed the guy and asked him if he could use it, and he said, "Yeah." That in Buzz's reflection, um, you see a bowling game. That's actually my dad. I went. My dad bowls, and so I just filmed him bowling just to match the movie. I was gonna say, "Hi, that. Amy." Hey, so we are. Uh, doing commentary for the movie, uh, so would you like to be part of it? Okay, I'll put you on speakerphone, just a second. Is this how you Hi! Hi, Amy! Say hi to the camera. Hi! So, we're watching the scene, uh, in the hallway with, uh, where Buzz, uh, tries to fly. Is there anything you want to say about, about anything at all? You could talk about this scene, or you could talk about anything at all. Just real quick. Yeah, trying to tell tell them about the wallpaper. <laughs> oh my god, the wallpaper would not stick to the wall. I hated that wallpaper. <laughs> Jesse hated Mr. Spell. Yeah. I hated the wallpaper. Yeah. 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 I, the wallpaper was not fun. Nope. Terrible. I was all excited when I got it. I was like, Jonathan, I got like wallpaper. It looks just like the one in the movie, and I thought it was. Who knew wallpaper would just be like? <laughs> well, we weren't we using it like wallpaper. We, yeah, we, we taped good it up. At, yeah, we taped it so, up. We weren't wallpapering it up yeah, on the studio's house. So. Yeah, but it did its purpose. Yeah, it, it did what it had to. Yeah. But it took forever. It was so well, annoying. Do you have any uh, favorite scenes you just want to say real quick? Um, I don't know. My favorite probably was Andy's room actually. Yeah, and Andy's. Was being in there Mm hmm Yeah. I thought yeah. that was fun. Yeah. Anything else you want to say <laughs> before I say goodbye? Uh, well, yeah, I'll have to say goodbye. Bye! All right. Bye! Thanks for talking with us. Mm-hmm. Wish you could be here. Okay. See you later. Right. <laughs> Bye. Bye! That was the first day we filmed with uh, Delaney. Yeah, she actually got her hair cut for it. It was great. Yes, she did! But then it grew, and she got away. She refused to cut it when we needed time. it in the future. She didn't want to cut her hair. She didn't like it short, so she had to do a wig. I like the short. It looks so she good. Looks, she looks so good. Cut like that. Not in um, a weird way, but this was fun to film. This was at the Gamboa's house. This was Gamboa's house. Yep. House. Um, and that teddy bear's head is not cut off. It's just stuffed inside of its body. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I like. I also like the way like the stop motion works here. He slams his fist on the table, and then he. And then he grabs it and picks it up. It just looks so cool. It's weird, but it's cool. I like it. And, um... Wanna make some popcorn? Oh, yes, popcorn, please. Uh, anything else you wanna talk about? Chad, Kent, Delaney's dad came and drove her here, and they were practicing their lines. Yeah, Chad was cool because, like, he would, you know, help her to practice it. He's like, you know... So he, he helped... No, huh? He helped us. This is back to see. I didn't. I edited this, but I didn't edit um, the shot that you just saw. Ooh, this microwave stinks.
I basically edited everything in oh, this in house. In, right. You, yeah, I pretty much know. edited the, the Wanji's house. This is all the Wanji's house. Oh yeah, we didn't say it was their house. There's Sid's dad's foot, I added that later. Um, what else can we talk oh, about? Another, oh, another Waldo's no, no, no. coming. Oh yeah, he is, yes. he is, yeah. Yes. Just look. Just look. Waldo. Uh, anyways, he's not the most interesting thing I to know. talk about so, here. I know, so he's not. The window was tough, a lot of stuff was tough. That's oh, like three different layers of video. That didn't look very good, but I did it anyways. Waldo's right there, and the, he's stuck in the windowsill. Well, for whatever reason. Yep. <laughs> and that was the first one we did anyways. Mm -hmm. um, this is the real Sid's room by now, and we... Like, his room is just so weird. Like, it took me half a... Nobody has a room like Sid's room. There, it's. it's I, I finally figured it out. It's two squares like conjoined sideways together, and it just doesn't make any sense. I we we were filming through his room before before I even realized what shape it was. It's so weird. My brother made the uh, web of terror poster. Oh yeah, you can see it behind. Most of those posters we were able to find from fans that made it. Actually, no. Uh, well. But uh, my, my my brother he does three D animation, Michael Prada, and he. Just blow for him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does that count as a cameo? <laughs> my face <laughs> is... That you're, that you're not dead. Oh, the spider. Hey, did it freeze or something? Uh-oh. Pause the recording. Just a sec. Buzz, will you get up here and give me a hand? All right. Uh, Wait. Uh, 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 that's fair. We're going to keep going from here. Something weird happened. I'm sorry. It froze for a second. It, at least the camera didn't stop. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, I was trying to say with the web of terror poster, my, my head is on the spider's body. Oh, and hey, look, it's Buzz! Hey, Buzz, let's show the guys our new secret best friend's handshake. <laughs> Give me five, man. Something screwy here. So, you see what no popcorn. popcorn. No popcorn. <laughs> uh, the, actually, I was going to say earlier, those posters weren't uh, made by fans. They were, they were the real ones from the movie. Oh, I found it on, on a special feature of the DVD. There was just an art gallery and a lot of posters in there. So I got them printed. That was fun. You weren't there, you missed it. That, that family what was, was I doing that day? Working probably? I don't know, something. You, the, uh, the family was so nice, they let us go inside their house and throw Christmas lights out the window. Their kids were like, what are you doing? Oh, it's Woody. Oh, that's okay. I don't care. Woody's here too. So they played. And uh, one of the little girls in, from that house, um, she was in the film class at the Apple Store, and it's the same one Delaney was in that class too. So, uh, next time she... That was a hard shot. This whole scene is like everything's moving around. It's just a lot of work, and it's the worst hand in the whole movie. But don't look at it. Don't. Um, and they're like, what is that thing flying out? It's his apron. So you yeah. Have that. Okay. Anything else to doubt about him? But, but they're cannibals. We saw them eat those other toys. Corn. He's gonna burn. He can burn popcorn. I just don't want to set off a fire alarm. Just, that would be unfortunate. Yeah. Use the microwave in your... Uh, room. sorry. Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, I thought that you were gonna... Love my apple. <laughs> you know, eat my friend. No, no, no! Um, What's wrong? I know, I'm going to this. That was from Eric Schufelt got us the... Oh, yeah, yeah. And the dad got us the, the bullet. Target thing. Um, coming up here, I made the music for for this scene right here. Just for some reason, there's parts that aren't on the soundtrack. This music. I made that. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, he he did a good job. Like. It was tough it was sometimes, like, he doesn't think he can do it, but he really can. Yeah. It's just a matter of getting him motivated to do it. He was just, he, yeah. He was really good, good at it. He Both just, the boys were just kind of, like, shy about, like, they, they just didn't want to get really loud. We could call him and talk to him about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. I always this was a tough scene to get. It, it was, you know, he's a, he's a trooper because he had to pick up that crate, just like Sid does in the movie, like, Drew, he had to use his fingers and... Stick him through the little. I mean, that thing's heavy for him, and he did it over and over again. And it, you know, 
But I feel sorry. For me. I do. Like, uh, oh hey, this is terrible editing done by me. <laughs> There's a halo. People yeah. don't like the halo. We just, it was the middle of the day, and I didn't want to leave it like super bright. We're not experts at uh, After Effects and uh, anything that has to do with like you know those uh, kind of like special effects things. And it wasn't that great. Green yeah. screen, whatever. We know how to do it. I know how to do it. It just didn't turn out as good as a professional would. So I'm sorry. I apologize if you offended by that. You have no. The bed isn't right, but like we'll do it anyways. We'll look at the thing that's not there. My mom was so funny. She, she always would say like, "Oh, I didn't do that good enough." And I'm like, "It was good enough. Just keep, you know, finish." Like she forget to turn the light off. It's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just don't say you're sorry. Just do it." Oh, she's great. Sorry. It's just that I get, I get so nervous before I do something. Nope. I get stuck with you. Nothing I really didn't do. Well, she, she, we, she, she let me use her little pencil holder. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, for the pencil <laughs> horror thing. <laughs> she helped with stuff. Moral support and all. Yeah. That, that is After Effects. That's my first attempt at real After Effects. It was the middle of the day and it was sunny and shiny. And I made it rainy. That window <laughs> is not as good, but you know, still whatever. The sweet scene was like the easiest to film because <laughs> there's no. They can't do facial expressions and that's like the whole yeah. thing. So, they're always yeah, smiling, even when they're supposed to be frowning, and <laughs> yeah. it's funny though. It's okay. It you doesn't, get the idea. Yeah, you can hear it in their voice, and we kept the the voice from the movie because we really felt like we couldn't do it good enough, and you would it wouldn't be. It would have been even more amateur right. for us to have done all the voices and the sounds like. Because then we'd have to do all the sound effects yeah. too. We it went we went with the right choice of just using the audio from the movie and just. Because the, the whole point is, this is what torture would, lo would look like if it was real. So the audio isn't as important. It's just more fun to see what it would look like real life. Although, we did have to do uh, It's a good decision to have the, the kid's real voice. Just because it was fun to do. And uh, that's your student thing. Yeah, that's... On, on the book in the background, there's like, you see that little symbol? That's uh, a little... That's my like secret sign that it was a game me and my brother not a played. Anymore. It's not a secret, but <laughs> so I just wanted to put it somewhere. It's like an A with like a little lightning bolt going through it. Just a game I used to play with my brother. He has his own sign. It's not in the movie. No. <laughs> uh, but we did get the rest of the book right. Yeah. Whatever it's supposed to be. What else is on the shelf? Chia Lincoln. Chia Lincoln from well, it's from Chia. It's but, from Chia. But, but it was on Retin Link. If you don't know who they are, you're missing out. Uh, there's a, there's other Retin Link things in here too, I think. I was gonna tell him about the coconut way early, but I was just uh, did, you, you were, did you talk about the coconut? No. He's in Sid's dad's room. In Sid's dad's room, uh, in the background, there's a, you see a coconut, it's a coconut monkey. Uh, He's behind the trash can, so you can go back and look. Yeah. He, <laughs> he was a prop that, that me and my brother used in one of our old, like older movies. Really, really old. Really funny, though. And uh, I think it's funny. It's my favorite one you ever did. Thank you. Even him. <laughs> uh, I would tell him how to find it, but it's just so hard to find. It's just called Bored on YouTube, you know? And well, you can find it. It's not on one of our channels. It's on Michael's channel. Yeah, you can find it. If you really wanted to. Listen, um, forget about matches all around. I was, I was obsessed with putting the matches just perfectly right. Yes, I guess it's worth I mean, it, I was obsessed with doing it. I was a little more obsessed than Johnson when it comes to just like, I just wanted every, every little, little thing. Tiny detail, I right? just, I tried as hard as I could. I just wanted it to be perfect. Um, so, what are you doing? You come on, they're sure. sitting in the background. There's a kid over that one shot where you see him while they're Let's get you out of this thing. Um, yes, coming up to the moving truck. Oh, yeah. Eric Rodriguez, thank you. Eric Rodriguez, he's, he, he was a neighbor to my brother. Um, so we were at my brother's house, and we saw that truck down the street, and this was at the time where we needed a moving truck. We tried a lot. We, I tried Craigslist again. We, we talked to some people, but it was always just too expensive. We talked to, yeah, we talked, we went. We were almost close to just getting one. It was just too expensive. So, you know, it's kind of loud. Sorry, turn it down. No, don't mute it. Oh, sorry. And what? Anyway, so we saw that truck and we're like, you know what, let's just try it. So we 
we wrote a we wrote a note and stuck it on two times the notes. Yeah, we we put two notes two different occasions, and finally he actually got back to us. No, 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 no. We no, caught no. him. As he was we going caught inside. him. Yeah, we we went to my brother's house a lot for a lot of different, the chase scene. Mostly. For the chase scene, we used my my brother's neighborhood a lot, and uh, finally we actually saw Eric uh, leaving and going inside his house. So we stopped him. We're like, hey. Do you remember, you know, we, we, we told him what we were doing. We talked about it like six months ago. And he remembered us, but he said he couldn't do it because it was uh, like Christmas and he was busy. But he actually ended up helping us. Chef. That's a puppet. That's also because we didn't have Scud when we filmed that because we were filming inside of yeah. Sid's room. That was before Scud, and even if it was real Scud, we, we, wouldn't have been we didn't want to crush his nose. mouth. So that's Shep from Billy and Chucky. Don't talk. By the time this comes out, Billy and Chucky will be famous. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, they, that was the first thing they asked us at the premiere was, what was that puppet thing? I'm like, oh, well, we didn't know you when we filmed that and we needed to film it, so it's a dog puppet. <laughs> Which is one thing I really didn't want to do because it's a toy. <laughs> like, he's not a toy, he's a dog, he's supposed to be a dog. Yeah. But it worked out, it, I, it's kind of funny, I guess. Plus, it kind of counts as an inside joke because it's Shep. Right, yeah, kind of, I guess. It's a famous dog. Um, this isn't very pretty stop motion, but Michael came in. That was the one time he was oh, in yeah. Sid's room. Michael helped. That's right. Because he never even seen it. Oh, he loves Toy Story. At one point... Movie. This is my least favorite shot. This is my least favorite. I agree. It's pretty nasty. Kind of... Kind of cringe when I look at it, but well, well it goes by pretty fast. Yeah, it's it goes by fast. I just figured it's fine. Uh, well, it's because I was trying to do green screen out the window. His shirt was green too, so it's like, <laughs> how do we do that? And it was dark and it was nighttime and it just didn't look very good. But whatever, it's over already, so I don't care. Um, we went to uh, Home Depot to do the inside of the. That's right. Of the, uh, you'll see it in a second here. So when they go inside the air vent. We we went to Home Depot. We went into like the the air duct section. We just took a bunch of pieces of pipe and air ducts. We laid them all out. So this is Home Depot, and we just we <laughs> on the floor. floor. Yeah, that's just on the floor. That was fun. Turned out good. It yeah, really I was good. worried they were gonna get kicked out of Home Depot for setting up that on the floor, but nah, the guys were happy. This is in my attic. Probably so hot. Probably the most uncomfortable day of filming. So hot. You're, it was the middle of summer and. And we were up in an attic in we Arizona. Were in <laughs> an attic. Actually, wait, was that this year? Was yeah. that summer? Oh, so it wasn't summer. But still. It was hot. Sweaty. Yeah. Uh, but we did find some uh, interesting <laughs> stuff up there. We don't need to talk about it. You could talk about it really quick. Uh, we basically, while we were filming in our attic, we, I never, we barely go up in my attic. We were actually filming, and then Jonathan found a bunch of like stuff in the corner. It was Santa. It was a Santa Claus head. Not important. But I stuck that up with gum that... Uh, the doorbell was like, how do we get to stay on there? Anyway, it was more than just Santa. It was a treasure trove left by the people who used to live in my house. Anyway, it wasn't treasure. It was their birth no, it was treasure to me. It was basically their family history in a box in my attic. This was the one of the last things we filmed was Scud going through her legs. We got soaked rain. Were you there? Were you, yeah, yes. Yeah, well, I was there. The first time. Sorry, I, some people oh, weren't there. You can tell. Well, we tried to film this at one place. And, uh, Slowly, just a storm was coming, <laughs> and we we just had to get that shot of Scud going under her legs. So we're like, "Come on, let's do it!" And and we did it twice, and then it's like, "Wait a second, it's pouring." And then it was just, <laughs> and it was. Really yeah, Scud. They left. They went home, and we had to reschedule it for another like two or three weeks. We made the sound effects. Those sounds were us because Sid is talking at the same time, so. We needed the effects. So all these scenes, you, all these sounds you hear. I did most of these sounds. I want to talk about Sid's backyard. Yeah, yeah. That is uh, the Sandoval's. Uh, they are renters of my dad's owned the house and they rent it to him. Anyways, the backyard looks very close. They had the shed in my spot and the and the they had a lot of stuff already, like the dirt and everything. So I was just thinking that it would work good, and I went and took pictures and asked you if it, if you thought it looked good. They found that my my family found that uh, that. Grill on like the one of the side of the road things people were throwing it away. Uh, so this is our yard we built. My dad uh, spent a lot of money like just uh, he just wanted to help somehow and that was how he helped the most I think. He 
he uh, went and is like, what do you need for Sid's backyard? Well, we need a picnic table. Okay, we're gonna build it right now. So we built a picnic table. I built a picnic. I built that picnic table with my dad. Um, and uh, and I was like, well, we don't really need to build one. We could just use this old wooden table we have. It's but it's not close enough. It's got metal legs. We, we'll build one. Like, okay. This is Sid's best acting. Yeah, it's so cool. His expressions was really good. I want to call and ask him if they're. Here. You can keep talking. Yeah. You can keep talking. Okay. I'm... That doll, that poor doll. Okay, we <laughs> we needed, you know, a doll to be that disgusting thing. So I, I went to Goodwill and I found one that looked pretty good. She was really pretty. And uh, so I threw her in the dirt, stuck her in mud, pulled out an eye. I... <sighs> All for the movie. But she, look at her, she looks great, you know? Small price to pay, I mean, now she's a star, so. Hi, it's Johnson. Sid's acting was really good here. Hello. This shot was crazy. I, uh, so, okay. We have like four people on each corner just pulling strings all towards Sid. Strings everywhere. Like, seriously. It was crazy though, but it was fun. So, we had to get like four people, like, alright, you pull these four toys, I'll pull these four toys, and we just pull them all together. This shot, like right here, is the most people that we needed for one scene. It was like right around 10 people. Me, Jonathan, um, the entire family that at the house that we filmed at, um, some of Jonathan's family, all of us just to move all these toys. It was the most ever. But I like it. It looks really good. It turned out good. Victor's gonna say something really quick. You can keep talking about the chasing. Hi, uh, Victor. Hi. I wasn't there. Do you want to say something for uh, about the movie? Like we just were watching you act, and we were talking about how good you did. Um, do you want to say something about filming? Because we're, re we're recording it, and hopefully yeah. we're going to show it to people later. We're on the camera. Jesse's here, too. Thank you for recording, <gasps> and thank you for helping. Oh, well, okay. Is, is there something bad you want to say? Do you want to say, like, I hated it? It you was have terrible? Any, yeah, it's, tell us a good memory you had or something. You like watching it? There's so many kids there. Alright. Uh, okay, thanks. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> what? Alright. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah? Oh, yes? Okay, bye. Okay, this. Bye. Okay, yeah, there's like, the neighborhood is just like, I think so far we already went to my brother's house, and we went to like, the neighborhood next to Scud's house, just so many different, that right there is back at, it's back in Tempe, and yeah, that's Tempe right there. That's the green screen, that was backwards. Scud was, Scud is just fun. He He's did, fun to, he did well. once he did it right, it looks so cool, yeah. but like, it took a while. Um... This is anyway. I was gonna say you were talking th this that the shot of Scud when he runs up to bite Woody. That was the first thing we filmed with Scud. Was it? No. The first thing we filmed with Scud was in his backyard. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> You're right. Uh, Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. You're right. It's the first time I met them. Uh, so there's a bunch of different trailers. The when you see the inside of it, right there, right there. That's my dad's uh, little. You know, small enclosed trailer for his motorcycle and stuff, and then when you, you know you see the giant moving van, that's another one. And there's also more than one RC. That RC, not that that one. No, the not small. that one. There's a smaller one and a bigger one. The small RC was used like that. Not that. Not that. That's <laughs> Anyways, you, you'll get it. The real. Uh, that small one. Yeah. Right there. That, that's that's a real remote control car, and he I, I had him since. That RC, the official RC that was made from Thinkway, he 
fails miserably as a remote control car. He doesn't move fast at all. So for scenes where we needed the, him to move fast, we had to use a smaller version. Okay, but this is such a crazy scene. I want to talk about that instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, we, we got That's my just... car. My car is the red car. You will see that probably over 10 times. Over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> my car is in here so many times. Uh, but uh, the, we just ask strangers, hey, this, your car is this color, this shape, or whatever. And hey, can we use it really quick? Just come out. We're filming. Just really quick. It'll take 10 minutes. And then it took half hour. <laughs> And we went out and did stuff like that. Yeah. All this stuff. That's I'm Kim's gonna... car. No, it's not. It's I'm my sorry. Mom's car. I'm sorry. Kim is driving. Jim, Kim's driving. Yeah. Uh, this is yeah. Okay, that's Agritopia. So many different places. Yeah, there's a lot of different places. Okay, we all know what comes after. <laughs> you I, I, I hope everyone's seen that already. <laughs> they get. That's crushed. my car again. They get crushed. Yeah. yeah. My car's here so many times. I. Won't even bother saying. Yeah, when well, you go through cars the same rate I go through shoes, I found out. <laughs> so, whatever that tells you. Um, uh, we're pulling him. See, on. we had to pull him on a stream because he just doesn't move that fast. Um, and uh, this was fun. This is such a cool shot. There's a lot of really cool shots in this chase scene. Um, I like the way this turned out too. We were sitting still, not moving. And he let us. Sorry, I can't help it. He let he Eric let us actually lower the ramp as he was driving. I didn't even think of asking. Like I was like, he's not gonna let us do it, but you asked and we did. So just ask, just ask weird stuff, and you can maybe have it. And what? Slinky. He was fine this whole time. I'll tell you when he when he isn't fine. He's, he's fine. He's actually being stretched. It's hard to see the spring. You yes. can't really see the spring, but he, he was being stretched as far as he possibly could. That was as far as he can go. That right there is where the heat broke. He, he I, I was, uh, I had him on a fishing pole, and and Jesse was driving, and the camera was looking out the window backwards, and I got the fishing pole caught on a car that was sitting still, and you kept driving, and he went, dun, 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 dun. no, Jesse, stop. Fortunately, though, it was his last thing that he had to do, and so he didn't have to do anything after that. He got to rest. He's he's not in the he's not gone. He, I still have. There was a bunch of random kids helping us. Yeah. Do that. Just from the neighborhood that wanted to help, but they didn't need to be named, I guess, for some reason. That was made I'm by sorry. Johnson. I apologize for that. Now we're in Amy Schufeld's neighborhood because we needed the power lines. Um out by where Johnson lives, there's like no power lines like that. So we had to we had to go more east where I live, and next to Amy's house, there was a spot like that. It looks pretty good with the movie. So yeah, I like the way I like the this power lines there. This whole thing is really cool. Uh, and uh, some of the sparks are fake. This one is real. Yeah, this that's a real fake. flare. That's a real spark. Sparkler, I should say. I burnt my hand. He he did. It was well, fun. we ran out of matches, and I broke the last one in half, and so I got to light it anyway. That was real. Uh, not that half one. Half of it. Was yeah, real. half. Uh, that's obviously fake. Well, um, the firecracker's real, just not actually there. Right? Yeah. And uh, for stuff like this, we got cars to drive past, and we lit a real rocket and drove forward and. That's real. This is this was really fun. That was know. fun. That was yeah. Jonathan and my brother were standing in the back of a of the truck while I drove it. I get some okay, we're coming up to the. A tree. lot of people were coming up to the there. miniatures. A lot of people were helping with that miniature. That that um, obviously. That's it's the kind of obvious. the Gilbert. What's it called? Museum. Model train at yeah. the museum. It's a museum in Gilbert. That's John a real firework. That's a real firework. Yeah. I edited that. That's, yeah, okay, so that's a museum Jonathan found online. Um, we went there and they had, it's a model railroad and they had different models of different areas of, uh, of, of Phoenix, or, yeah. And uh, so I we love did it when the kid, little kids ask me, uh, how did you do that for this flying part? <laughs> Man, so we, um, this was the miniature. And I wanted to do it real. We looked into getting like a little helicopter oh, yeah. and, and like trying yeah. to suspend the camera up on a, on a, we, rope yeah, or we thought about how we could do it real and actually be really high up in the air, hot air balloon, you know, which is, I, yeah, we looked up hot air balloons. We did, yeah. It, yeah. But it turned out just nothing, it was just too difficult, so we did miniature. And this we shot twice because the first time didn't turn out very good, and this one turned out really good. <laughs> They, yeah, if it's important for their eye to close, we that was in that was here. That's the only thing in Flagstaff. That's the Garrity's house, the relatives of Delaney Kent. 
and this is in the Bright's house, and it's flipped, it's backwards. <laughs> so many unnecessary things. I wasn't happen. there for that day, that's why it was backwards. I would have caught that. No, 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 I flipped it so that, that, so that it was the right way, but it was backwards. Wallow! <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, it's almost over, what else, what else do we talk about? Well, we're going to talk during the credits. So. Well, yeah, but what else do you want to talk about? Tiny sheep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we searched through Michael's and different craft stores to try and find uh, mistletoe, and nobody had any. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> we spent a long time looking for that, Amy and, and us, we were looking for it. Um, what else? Um... The lighting, like I went through and redid all the color afterwards, so and it looked a lot better than it did originally, but it's still not as colorful as the real movie. You can't do it, like you can't make film, you know, on a digital camera. We did the whole thing on my little camera, the same one we're recording. It's right in front of me. It's right there. Mm. Um, <laughs> it, it's just a regular consumer camcorder, and people were asking me on uh, on the Facebook page and stuff like, what what kind of camera are you using? I was like, well, this is a regular one. And that, I, I wish I would have spent a little more time on that mm. window sill. It's fake, obviously. Um, but I didn't. Just because I didn't think of a different way to do it. That's me. Yes. I wish stuck. We're paused again. That's okay. We can just listen to it and keep talking. Yeah, I know. It's just okay. great. All right. It'll, f it'll fix itself. Whatever. <laughs> I guess. Um, That's us singing. Yeah. That's me, Johnson, Amy, and Kim. We the worked on the most, I think. Yeah. When did we decide we wanted to sing it? Kind of like it was. It was kind of early on. It was pretty on. early on. I I was thinking originally that I wanted to. It'd be cool because I because I heard about the uh, the the guys that redid Indiana Jones when they were kids. They used music in their in their. I don't know why I know this. I never seen it, but they used in the credits music from all of the different Indiana Jones movies. So I thought it'd be cool to do every version of You Got a Friend of Me that there is. There's three or four. And it would it should sound cool. I've used it as the uh, the DVD menu music just because I wanted to hear it just cutting back and forth. But it was a good idea to sing it. I like doing that. Because um, Jesse does music and we can record it. We can, so we did. Anything else? It's sad. It's over. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Two years of our life. Two years? Like, to the day. Because we started in, like, August of 2010 and ended in August of 2012. Well, we didn't it's start August, planning. Wait, yeah. We were planning it in July, but then it started in August. Um, well, yeah, but filming. Yeah. Um, uh, two and, long years? Yeah. We it, it, it's not as long as... I mean, it's, it's about average for yeah. movie, I'd say. Unless it's animated, it takes longer. I was expecting people to walk in. Hey, there's some more people. Yeah, we managed. Hi. I have no intruders. <laughs> I'm sad we didn't get to eat popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about something else? Yeah. Um, um, something that... There was so much to talk about. I know, it was just trying to go I through feel like, all you know, I just I kept missing stuff. Like, I just wanted to say stuff, but then, like, something else would come up. That Whatever, we know that. Well, what do you want to talk about now? Um, yeah. <laughs> I still have most of the toys, although we got rid of ones uh, once we were finished. And I was always worried, like, I, I ended up switching computers halfway through of editing because the first one was like a Frankenstein computer and it was slowly dying and I was scared to keep editing on that, so my parents got me a new computer to finish. <laughs> I don't, the, the song is fun to listen to, but it doesn't really make sense. Like I said, that ah, was terrible, don't do it again. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I um, I edited like the end credits songs and so we recorded like five or six times for the, not for the original, but for, for the uh, for the funny version of the song, the reprise. We just recorded like five times and did as many funny stuff as we could and I picked out the funniest stuff and just put them all together. So yeah, it's not good. I like listening. So it's to funny because like we'll say a joke in the song in the, and then you hear Amy and Kim laugh, but they didn't actually laugh. I just took a I took one of the laughs. I was like, you know, they should laugh after we say this. So it's like <laughs> that's kind of depressing. I thought they were actually laughing. No, they weren't. They were laughing, but it's something different. Yeah, Our that. credits are longer than the real version, as we know right now. You know what? I I didn't really think about that. There's more names in the real version, obviously. But, yeah. But it goes faster. Um. 
and uh, thanks for watching. I, I don't want to say more stuff, but I can't. Um, stay tuned because more stuff is coming, just not Toy Story. <laughs> yeah. People ask if we're going to do Toy Story 2, and it's like, mm, I don't think so. Nope, no. I do not want to do. No. I want to do more original stuff. Yeah. From here on out. Yeah. Although this was really fun, and I. Of course it was. Kim's back. Kim's back. How did she get in here? Nice.